Hi, I'm Dr. Tim Pierce from Skin Viva. Uh, I want to do a short video for you to explain our new Da Vinci Lip Treatment. So the, co the important concept behind the Da Vinci Lip Treatment is that there are some fascinating rules of beauty that were discovered by Leonardo Da Vinci that now we can use to design lip treatments. Um, I've got Melissa with me today who I'm going to use to show you the ratio in a real face. Um, all good looking people will have this ratio in lots of places um, and we can use it to shift lips in the direction of perfection basically. Basically. So if you have a slightly narrow, narrow mouth or a, or a mouth that isn't as wide as it should be relative to, to this ratio, we can make that better with a few injections of a dermal filler. Um, so let's first of all take a look at that ratio in a few places. The ratio itself is actually 1 to 1.681 and this little device which we use, um, the 1 to the 1.68, I, I can use to, to spot ratios on faces. So if we look at Melissa's face, the position of her eyes relative to her chin and forehead are exactly on that ratio, which is as you'd expect uh, for someone who was good looking. Um, we can also have a look at how her mouth, this is the most important, one of the most important ratios for, um, for the golden ratio, is how your mouth compares to your nose and your chin, or actually more importantly, how it compares to the gap between your eyes, which we call the intercanthal distance. So if we measure Melissa's gap between her eyes, her lips should be very close to when we compare the longer of the two ratios, 1 to 1.681, it should fit pretty well. Her mouth is very slightly narrower than perfect, which is an indication to do a lip treatment, so we can actually shift her in the direction of perfection by just making a little adjustment. The position of your mouth relative to your chin and your nose should also be on that line and you can see she fits that perfectly as well. So young people have short filtrums um, and longer in proportion chins and as you get older that ratio can shift in the other direction. Um, but because we know about it we can help people stay on the right side of it. Um, let's compare top lip to bottom lip and I can use this little slightly smaller version of the same measuring tool and you can see how her bottom lip is bigger than her top lip, which is the correct way for it to be. However, if you look from the side, which unfortunately you won't be able to see, your top lip should project over your bottom lip, and she has that as well as a really good example. So, the next ratio I like to look at is the total lip distance compared with the chin. And you can see that her total th lip thickness is slightly narrower than, than the ratio if you compare it to her chin, which is also, also means we can make her more beautiful by just gradually increasing that ratio, which we'll do later on. When all of these ratios are exactly correct, the feeling that we should all get when you look at a face is just one of pleasure. I always think it's, you shouldn't be distracted by one feature or another. If the ratios are lined up perfectly, you just get a wonderful sense of that's a beautiful person. And that's exactly what we're aiming for. And a, a, a Da Vinci lip treatment really should just fit everything so well that you see the overall picture is beautiful and you're not distracted by a big top lip or something like that, which I know we've all seen a few times. Um, but we're going for natural and we're going for perfection. I hope that makes a bit more sense to you. Um, and we'll show you some before and afters of Melissa uh, slightly later on after we've done the procedure. Okay, so um, the choice of material for a Da Vinci lip treatment is really important. Um, a lot of the beauty of lips is also in the detail. So that's the vermilion border, the philtrum, the cupid's bow. The way that the angles blend into each other is crucial. So if you use a product that doesn't hold its shape very well or attracts a lot of moisture, you just lose some of the work that you've done. So um, I'll be using Juvederm Volif today, which is a fantastic filler for really holding a crisp, crisp shape and, and giving um, the lips a longevity as well. So you should get around 15 months from a treatment. Um, you've had your lips treated done before, before, haven't you? And you've always found it not too bad. So most people just need a little bit of anesthetic cream, which is all we're using today. And we'll see how we get on. Okay. Ready? A little injection coming. Just to really hold that definition, I use a, just do a little bit of moulding at this point to make sure we have a nice crisp border. This product integrates into the skin um, in a few hours and integration is really just the process of it getting tangled up with the natural molecules that are already there so that they don't move very easily at all 
Um, but the great thing about this product is if you do have a problem with it, you can actually quickly dissolve it and reverse it and it all goes back to how it was before in about 12 hours. Okay, so the lip treatment itself really only takes a few minutes once you've carefully planned out exactly where to put the injections. Um, and afterwards, most people have very little to show in terms of side effects except for a little bit more swelling than they will have when it's all settled. Um, aftercare is really simple, just don't do anything that will make you too hot because um, heat will obviously increase swelling. But most people can lead a pretty normal day the day after and just enjoy their results. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in the Da Vinci concept and would like a free consultation with one of our doctors, please call us today.